This is SAT test 6, non-calculator question number 13. College Board gives us a quadratic equation with t instead of a regular number for the constant and asks if this equation has no real solutions, which of the following could be the value of t? There are three basic ways of solving this. The fastest and easiest is by considering the graph. I have a parabola that opens up and they're saying this parabola does not intersect one of these values. If I look at y equals negative 3, y equals negative 1, y equals positive 1, and y equals positive 3, if there is only one correct solution, then this parabola, which opens up, has to hit three of these four y values which means it looks something like this and the only y value it doesn't hit is y equals negative 3. If you had a parabola that opened up and also did not hit negative 1, there would be two correct answers and College Board doesn't do that. There's only one correct answer and if it opens up it hits all values above the vertex. So the vertex must be somewhere below negative 1 but above negative 3. Another way of doing this is 2x squared minus 4x equals t. Subtract t from both sides. 2x squared minus 4x minus t equals 0. To have no solutions, the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, discriminant has to be less than 0, where a equals the x squared coefficient 2 b equals the x coefficient, negative 4, and c equals the constant, which is negative t. Remember, I moved the t from the right-hand side to the left, so t is now negative. So b squared minus 4ac is equal to b squared is negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4ac is minus 4 times negative t is... something wrong with that. Oh, yes. Minus 4 times negative t is plus 4t times 2 is plus 8t, and I want that to be less than 0. Subtract 16 from both sides. 8t is less than negative 16. Divide by 2. t is less than negative... No, divide by 8. t is less than negative 2. The only choice for t that's less than negative 2 would be negative 3. So again, the solution is negative 3. A third option would be to use the quadratic formula, and that would have no solutions because when I took the square root of b squared minus 4ac, I'd be taking the square root of a negative number. So quadratic formula is a little bit of extra writing, but at the end I'm looking for b squared minus 4ac less than 0, and that gives me choice a again. College Board will often ask questions involving the solutions of a quadratic equation and frequently you will have to use the quadratic formula or in this case the discriminant since they're just asking how many solutions. Come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.